Hello everyone, it's Elaine, and today is part one on a series on how to draw and paint fashion illustration. I was actually requested to do a video on how to draw and paint a fashion illustration. And I think it's fair to say that what I do in order to create a fashion illustration is going to be different from what any other artist is going to do. But it, it will create the basis for any artist to start doing their own illustrations. Um, for Whenever you are going to create a fashion illustration, you do need at least uh, some knowledge of the human body and proportions of the human figure. Uh, in this particular episode, however, I am going to be talking primarily about two things, which is the female proportions and how to gather inspiration to start your, your drawing. Female bodies are usually eight to nine heads tall. A male body is nine heads tall. For this example, I will follow the eight heads proportion. To create your basic guideline, follow these rules. Create eight squares and stack them on top of each other. This is where your figure is going to be drawn in. About one and a half heads into your figure, shoulders get drawn in. The waist is about the midpoint on the third box. The elbows should be below that point even when the arm is in full swing. Hips will encompass your fourth box. The hands at the end of the fifth box, about one quarter of the way in. Depending on the pose, the knees are midway on the sixth box. If the knee is bent, the knee that is bent will be lower than the knee that is straightened. The seventh box will have the calves. In the eighth box, the feet start about a quarter of the way in. The shoulders and hips are the same width. Now, I wasn't going to talk about facial proportions because most of my figures actually don't have faces or don't have noses. And I have my own little quirks where I make the eyeballs extremely small inside a huge eye. It's just how I do them. But here's some proportions for you to follow uh, that kind of give you uh, a guideline on how to draw a face. For face proportions, follow these rules. The eyes are at the same level as the ears. The nose will fit in the space between the eyes, ending about two thirds into the face. The neck is a bit narrower than the head. The thicker the neck, the more masculine your figure will be. The space between the eyes should theoretically be enough space to add a third eye. If the chin has a square shape, it will make your subject masculine. Also, if the lines are dark, thick, and heavy around the chin, the subject will look male. So keep those things in mind whenever you're creating your piece, uh, especially if you're drawing a woman. If you don't want her to have a very heavy chin or, or have very square features because it will make her male. Also, having a very, a very thick neck, although I've seen some illustrations of females with very thick necks uh, for my taste, but it, uh, having a very thick neck will make your subject very male. The second part of this has to do with gathering uh, inspiration. And this is actually the fun part. Back when there was no internet, you had to call a company like JCPenney, Sears, whatever, and tell them, hey, can you send me your catalog so I could place an order? And they would send you a big, thick book full of all of their wares. Whatever they had in stock, they basically put it in a book. Uh, some companies, however, would just do fashions. So this is a Spiegel catalog from 1964. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on one of these, it's definitely worth the investment. Um, not only does it have fashion, but it also has household wares and things like that, which uh, if you ever do research uh, on how to decorate 
for a certain era, this is definitely the piece you want to have. However, today we don't really don't need a catalog because we have fashion magazines. We also have style.com and a couple of other websites that basically as soon as the fashions come out, the, um, the, the pictures go online. But uh, I really like magazines more uh, just because they are very good at posting and I do like to experiment with pose. They, ha they have really good uh, pictures that really showcase the fashion and the faces as well as uh, really good posing. So this is always a good um, sample to follow. For this particular assignment, I would like you to find not just a, a full figure, a picture of a full figure, but also a picture of a face that you may want to draw. I'm kind of torn myself between this face and this face. This one being the easiest ones to draw because she's very fair skin. She's actually devoid of color. So the color for her will be any color around uh, that surrounds her. So she has the platinum hair, the platinum hair uh, on the golden skin, uh, which gives her a kind of a golden tone. And then of course for shadowing, she has these purple shades on her. So it, that that's actually the easiest one. But if you look at her, she kind of has kind of an even tone. It lightens in the middle because this is where the hot spots of, of the of the light of the camera and the lighting that they put on her. But then if you get really close and look at her, she also has a bit of green. She, she has a little bit of olive tones to her. Um, I would consider her color a, a little kind of like a caramel golden type color um, and not to mention that she's actually wearing like gold just golden things around her and her hair has kind of like a golden highlight to it if I were to make any part of her any darker it would be using the brown in her hair and also I would use some of the uh, the gray the bluish on the and put some of that on her face as it will reflect on her face where I'm seeing green it could very literally be gray so um, so I'll pick one of these and uh, I will you pick your own you need to pick a face you need to pick one that is a whole body and I will share mine on the next episode Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.